While VREP is more importantly about transforming learning and teaching than it is about the technology, the technology engages kids and requires a full day for setup. The Institute's student guides lead the assembly and setup of all equipment for the schools participating. These monitors are awesome. Yeah. Yeah, they're high-def monitors. They are really nice. Okay. Ten school districts from the Southwest Ohio region participated in January's Institute, sending teams of high school students to UC's Tangeman Center. My name is Dave Disco. I am the superintendent of Hamilton County Educational Service Center. One of the, we are actually the hosting entity for this uh, event today. We're doing this with two other states, the state of Iowa and the state of Connecticut. Uh, and uh, it is what we are hoping to be kind of a wave of things for the future and this will happen across the United States, and you're part of that. We hope that this will be an exciting new way for you to learn. We think there is innovation here that has not been modeled in very many places throughout the country. We're looking for a cool factor, and we think that you provide it. You're going to find that you're going to have a different role in the learning experience today, and so are the adults. It may be a little bit uncomfortable for some of us, but I think you're going to find that it's going to be a, a really exciting way to learn. Good morning, I'm Tyler Shard, and um, I'm going to introduce you to some of the other guides that are going to be helping you out today. Josh Wade, he's from East Marshall, which is where I graduated, but he's a junior this year. We also have um, Jacob Mead from Starmont in Iowa, he's also a senior this year, and Forrest Scott from Mount Vernon, who's also a senior this year. So let's start the day, let's dive right into this stuff. Um, for your wireless network, if you need one, just go ahead and log into outside. Um, and at this time, we're going to also excuse the adults to uh, join Trace. You can exit through the back, so all the teachers, all the administrators, exit with Trace, you're going to have a meeting with them at this time. Um, we're going to talk about the graphical user interface, the GUI, first of all. Besides three Bibles, we had to read through it. And so it's horrible trying to get through all that material. The Europe Guides quickly established the concept of students leading students in learning. The new Pathfinders work through several tutorials during the morning hours to learn the 3D modeling program known as Blender. And as the adults have been dismissed from the room, they must learn to rely on each other for support and help. So how did you, how did you uh, change this field? Uh, Okay, um, I, tried, I tried number one, but... You tried number one? Yeah. And then you held function when you used your... Did you try to hold function when I... Oh, well, you don't use the top keys, because those have... Those are usually used for, like, inputting values or... Team facilitators meet separately from their students to discuss the role of the facilitator, expectations of students, and project examples. All they gotta do, I and mean, students don't even have to take their textbooks, they, the teacher will do it all for them. If they're patient, the teacher will do everything. They'll even give them the answer if they're patient. And we've gotta get away from that. We're, we're a fast food society, quick feed, and do it for me. And well, I get to go play and have fun. And I told my teachers, we just had a staff meeting, I told my teachers, get the sandbags off you and get them back on those students. It's time for you to quit doing the work, it's time for them to do the work. And if you do not shift and put me in the pack horse, the students will never change. Are you self-directed? Are you self-disciplined? Are you uh, self-started motivated? Because if you're not, you can't be in there. And, and ask the tough questions to make sure that they're ready to take it out and make sure they understand you're teaching them nothing. That they are going to teach you what they learned, how they do it, and how they got there. And if they cannot do that, then maybe they're not ready to take that step. You're reversing the role. You're the student, they're the teacher. We have one student um, in Forest School who joined VR this year. He happened to go to Chichen Itza in Mexico this summer, and he became fascinated with that ancient pyramid. And fascinated with the idea that 
two days a year when the sun's just right in the sky, it creates a snake shadow on the ground that appears to move. He comes back, gets in VR, and he decides he wants to recreate Chichen Itza in 3D and see if he can make the sun in the sky hit his Chichen Itza and create the same snake shadow. Now think about the complex skills required. He's working with his math teacher to, so he knows exactly the size and dimensions and height of Chichen Itza. He's working with his art teacher to figure out how do I texture and make Chichen Itza look accurate. And he's working with his science teacher because he has to place Chichen Itza exactly in the right location on the planet. And he has to make the sun exactly the right distance and size and intensity in the sky in order to make that snake shadow. He's been working on this for five or six months. I got the body from body over here. Now it's just a um, you're telling me earlier about you used Blender before, but you thought this was better. Yeah. And why? Why was this better again? On the on the online tutorials, it talks to you like you already know what you're doing. Like it doesn't tell you like, oh well, you need to hit G to grab the object. Like it just says grab the object, move it however many you feel like. Like this one gives you step by step on what to do. It gives you like these definition sheets because I didn't understand what I was doing like I didn't understand what half the stuff meant and this helps and this little shortcut thing helps me too like the way they set it up it's way easier to learn very, like, very cool and so what have you created here that you're so proud of my gingerbread man <laughs> like these were all squares right here this was all a square these are spheres like, yeah and I created it and I even have to look at my notes to get his title right. He told me that he is a VDC engineer. <laughs> On both days of the Institute, students have the opportunity to see the real-world application of 3D technologies. VREP business partners, such as Turner Construction and ITI, not only provide financial support for the program, but serve as a vital connection to the contemporary application of 3D technologies and virtual worlds. Day two of the Institute opens with an emphasis on teaching each other new knowledge. Hey Dave, I'll make you go. That's right. Go back to your other layers. Got one layer. Alright, where'd your bank go? I don't know. What did you do? I didn't do anything. It's there. Oh, that's it. That's the box. You're viewing view from camera. Okay, there. Do not take off you camera. All right. Can you guys tell me what you're working on real quick? She's what teaching me how to make a game. Yeah. Very cool. So you learned how to do the game. No, yeah. I taught her. Oh, yeah. I learned how to do the game, and she learned how to do texture. And I taught her how to texture, and she teach me how to game. Excellent. Thanks. You're welcome. Yep. All right. As the Institute winds down, students prepare their creations to be viewed in virtual 3D. When they return to their schools, teams will embark on creating 3D models, simulations, and projects for their school and community. Working with their team facilitator to chart the direction for a VREP within their district, they can have confidence in knowing they are now part of a community of VREP learners. From the square forms they started with to realizing their virtual 3D gingerbread men, these students have collaborated as learners and collaborated as leaders. VREP's success is not in its use of technology, but in its ability to challenge students with taking ownership of their learning, fulfilling the VREP mantra of students leading and learning in 3D.